Hey guys, here with Car Buyer, and I'm sure you recognize these two iconic cars right next to me. They are the brand new VW Golf Generation 8, and there's currently kind of two engines for sale in Singapore. Uh, we've got the 1.5 TSI over here, and then we've got the Rip Snorting GTI. There are actually three different trim levels for the 1.5, and this is going to be the bread and butter, so why don't we start by having a closer look at this. Uh, what's under the bonnet here is a 150 horsepower engine, which is interesting because it has a 48 volt, volt mild hybrid system that helps it to cut down on fuel consumption. So if I'm not wrong, it's, um, it, it consumes less than 5 liters per 100 kilometers, or more than 20 km per liter if you're so inclined. Uh, now that's important because there is no category A model for Singapore yet. Uh, and this scores a, a VES, that's a vehicular emissions scheme, rebate of $15,000, uh, which helps to keep the price low. So uh, these cars actually currently start from around about $126,000 in Singapore. This is the higher spec uh, Life Plus version. And um, I can tell you that having driven it very briefly, it has all the usual golf attributes. Nice chassis, um, it's very well composed and very refined inside. But when it comes to driving a golf, I think the one that keen drivers like more is the GTI. So let's have a look at this. And there's quite a bit more I want to show you on the inside of the car. But for now, what's under the bonnet here is a 2.0-litre turbo. Good for 245 horsepower, if I'm not wrong. That's 15 more than before. 0 to 100 is 6.4 seconds. Uh, that's a lot faster than 8.5 seconds over there. Um, and just again, having driven this very briefly, they've managed to retain some of that rawness that I think every GTI should have. But let's have a look at the inside uh, where I can show you how the Golf has changed because in addition to being more eco-friendly than before, which is what all car makers are sort of striving for nowadays, it's actually much more digital. So let's climb aboard, have a look. Start it up and... Um, whoops, okay, we've got some classical music in the background, but let me just show you the fully digital displays and, and that tells you, uh, of course, where we are. You've got things like this lovely GTI display, very racy with a tachometer there. You can actually alter what you want to see on the right as well. Let's look at um, telephone or, or speed, for example, and I can show everyone that I've been a good boy. Okay, uh, so this digital display is kind of a taste of what uh, makes the new Golf interesting. There's a, there are a lot of haptic and touch displays now. So if I put my finger on the light switch, for example, um, it actually kind of clicks almost like a phone. Uh, and you know, it can, it can tell you exactly what's going on. If, if I click it here, let's say I want to switch the mode to, let's see, automatic. Yeah, and then it's kind of confirmed over there. Same thing with these steering wheel controls. They're all haptic. So it's actually one big panel. And depending on where my fingers are when I, when I press it, um, that tells you, I mean, that, that will activate the function. Uh, oh, steering, heating. I suppose if you've got cold hands, that's something worth doing. Okay, um, I want to have a look at the central display as well. Now notice, oh, that just moved. Now let's just move it back. <laughs> now, notice that actually very few buttons are on the dashboard, and that's because everything has kind of moved into the screen. Uh, we still have this sort of haptic panel here, or touch-sensitive panel. So depending on what I want to kind of call up on the screen here, I just rest my finger, and um, you know the car kind of knows what I'm looking for. Um, same thing with some of these climate controls here. Uh, on the on the 1.5, uh, the Life Plus version, there were some knobs here, but this is almost fully digital. So shortcuts would be like temperature uh, over here. And of course, things like the sound system um, volume controls are here and all that. So let me just dial that down. Um, let's see. Now, of course, if you've driven a VW before, you'd be familiar with all this. There is um, Apple CarPlay as well. Let me see if that calls it up. No, that doesn't. Mm. And it's all actually uh, designed to work like a smartphone. So you've got a kind of home key here, and then you've got all these clickable um, tablet type uh, buttons here. Oh, CarPlay is what I was looking for earlier. Let's not see uh, if I can reveal anything embarrassing about myself this way. And something new is uh, the ability to talk to the car. So, hello, Volkswagen. What can I do for you? I'm feeling warm. Sure, it will get cooler at the front right shortly. Yeah. 
So uh, that completely understood what I was getting at, and it, and it, it, it said it was going to cool this area for me. So, you know, if you dislike um, having to go through menus to kind of get at the controls, I think VW is um, basically one of those brands that brings posh technologies or even future technologies into the mainstream. And I think in the future, we'll be spending much more time talking to our cars. So if you want to have a glimpse at how digital uh, this, you know, the, your, the contemporary cars should be, uh, the Golf 8, I think, is a good place to start. If you're coming into it from a car that's maybe three years or, you know, or, or older, it's going to feel actually quite revolutionary. So apart from you know, having the old qualities of being fun to drive, I think the GTI really shows what uh, things will be like in terms of the digital space when it comes to the everyday car. So that's just a quick look at the new VW Golf, both the 1.5 TSI and the more digital Golf GTI. If you want to find out more and all the finer details, please head on over to carbuyer.com.sg where we've got a new story and after we've driven these cars properly, we'll be posting our reviews. That's it for now. See you again.